Problem number two also uses the exponent rules from lesson 10.1. I've listed the seven exponent rules up here. Remember that you are done simplifying when each variable appears just one time and all the exponents are positive. We'll undo negative and zero exponents using the last two rules, which are listed here. Any number to the power of zero is equal to one. And if you have a negative exponent, you take the reciprocal. So if I look at this first thing, notice how the whole parentheses is raised to the power of zero. And when something is raised to the power of zero, it's a one. So because there's a parentheses around it, this whole thing here just becomes a one. So that is the first answer. For the second piece, we have 12 to the negative second power. We're not allowed to have negative exponents in our answer. So when we have a negative exponent, we undo it by taking the reciprocal. I like to think of a negative exponent as being in the wrong place. So right now it's in the numerator. So to get rid of it, we need to move it down to the denominator. So this is the same as one over 12 to the positive second power. And then if you take 12 and you square it, that's 144. So we get one over 144 as our answer here for number two. For the last one here, um, notice that we have three x to the negative fourth times x to the eighth raised to the power of zero. Now we know, just like the first problem, that anything to the power of zero is one. So if we take three x to the negative fourth and we multiply it by one, it's still three x to the negative fourth. But for our final answer, we do not wanna have a negative exponent. So we need to undo the negative exponent. Notice though that negative exponent is only on the x. It's not connected to the three because there's no parentheses around three x. Therefore, the only piece that needs to move is that x to the negative fourth. The three is fine right where it's at. Um, we just need to move the x to the negative fourth to the denominator. So it ends up being three over x to the fourth as our final answer. And that matches this one right here.